What's going on you guys welcome to another video I'm very excited about this mod that we are going to go ahead and throw in the Mustang which is pulled out of the garage we got her all set up here if you guys missed the video where we installed the seats steering wheel emblem uh, what else do we do we cleaned up a little bit did the door panels so all of this is new it looks pretty much brand new um, and what I went ahead and got was something for right here box is right here let's go ahead and open her up and see what's inside and what we got is this it's from Dynavin and what we got was a complete new radio for the Mustang and this is gonna be an absolute game changer oh we can open it just like that nice so we got some Dynavin stickers obviously if you guys would like to purchase one of these it is from Dynavin and use the code and with that code you get fifty dollars off your entire purchase i already know this is going to be a game changer for example like when you get like an aftermarket radio you can always just tell like it's an aftermarket radio and it just all the buttons are down below where it says pioneer jvc and stuff like that when you go into an interior you can just tell it's an aftermarket radio just from looking at it I want I wanted something like OEM like it looked like it was from factory and looked very good and with all the controls and that is what I wanted I also wasn't a fan of the touch screen uh, AC controls so I wanted buttons I just really wanted the uh, I wanted touch screen Apple CarPlay screen and a little bit bigger than this this for my taste is a little bit too small what we got with Dynavin was a bigger screen and it looks OEM. So this is the bad beast itself right here. Let's go ahead and pop her out. See how it looks OEM? And it just looks so good. Ooh. Boom. So obviously we're not gonna take this screen protectant off until we actually install it. We got another box full of stuff. Quickly glance at what's inside of here. I'm gonna guess and say it's the wiring and stuff. And that would be correct. I believe these are the buttons that go into right here that we're missing from earlier. So that's good. Oh, it's for heated and cooled seats, which we do not have. So we don't need these. But should I trick people into thinking I have heated and cooled seats? Nah. All right, we got more cords. Another thing that I have to figure out as well is the AC wiring because I never actually ended up using, or I never wired the AC controls in that touchscreen one. I was gonna try and figure it out later, but I knew this was coming in the mail, so I wasn't gonna bother with doing all the wires just yet, because I wanted to do the wires with this. I guess what we gotta do first is take that radio out, and then we can go ahead and start putting this in. Going back into the interior, we just gotta basically take the center console out. There's the charger again. He must work around here or something. Cause I see him every time. So first things first, we can pop these tabs out. Boom. Ow. Oh, ow, what did I do? Oh my gosh, that hurt. Okay, so tip for you guys. Do not put your thumb right here. That was a rookie mistake. I can tell you it will not happen again. You see how this part goes up? And this clip is right there. Yeah, my thumb said nay nay. Went ahead and took the center console off, or half of it. And the other half, we just gotta take those two bolts out. Alright, took it off. Another reason why I wanted to get a new one of these as well is because the one that I got was already cracked right here. I guess we can go ahead and unplug everything from under here. And take this radio out. We got the radio out and we got it sitting right here and the only things that were plugged in were these three plugs right here um, and the, what I'm talking about as far as the AC wiring is right here I think what I'm gonna have to do is ignore the ground and the power but everything else I'm gonna have to transfer from this to this control module right here so I have to find out probably cut the uh, plug that goes into this one and that one find out which wires go to which on here and We should be good to go as far as these up here. What I'm gonna do with these the traction control 
There is no traction control on this system, so I'm not really worried about this. But I have three buttons right here, perfectly right there. Um, so that one's traction off, which it's always off anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The hazard lights, I'm going to transfer the button down to this one somehow. And the trunk, um, probably not going to use that one. I might do what Andrew did and put a trunk release inside the gas cap right there. I want that hazard lights to at least work. And then for these three buttons right here, what I might do with these is just extend the wiring from up in there and put it nicely inside the cubby holder but it's going to be these three buttons right here so i'm going to take it out of here which is held by four screws and then wire it to the inside of the cubby that way i can still activate um my cluster and change the color and mileage and all that good stuff as far as the three valve and this whole thing what we're using the only thing we're going to be using is these buttons right here but everything else i'm going to try and rewire everything to work with radio see all these buttons right here all of those I need to transfer from here to here with the wiring. This button right here is this, um, this is that, and then this uh, is right here. So I have to find that wire. So I have to figure out which is which. But without further ado, let's go ahead and throw the new radio in. I went ahead and threw the plugs in. Um, got the uh, Wi-Fi and antenna in. We got the GPS ready to be put in. Uh, that's for the uh, GPS maps and stuff. Uh, we got three plugs right here that go into the three plugs right there. Um, this is the antenna, which goes into this. Also, if you guys want this for a three valve, like an 05 to 09, they make that as well, and it looks just as good. Obviously, we're doing the 11 to 14 because we have the 11 to 14 dash. And thankfully, the 11 to 14 plugs are the exact same. The only thing that's different, like I said, is the AC controls. As far as the wiring, here is the wiring diagram right there. So I figured out what this extra one was for. Uh, this is for the shaker amplifier. So we got extra wires over here. We have the reverse backup camera, which I will be getting. Um, so I have to order that. So we're just going to leave this on the side for now. Finally got her in there, but let's go ahead and turn it on and see if it works. First, gotta take this bad boy off. Oh, that's satisfying. Obviously, it's not clipped in because I don't have the clips yet. Oh, the sticker's on here. I need two hands. One thing I forgot to mention before I turn this on is I put the microphone up here and wired the wire. Oh, I forgot to plug that in. Okay, so that's the only thing that's not plugged in is the microphone. But I got the microphone here, wired it all the way through here, and it's just hanging back there. But let's go ahead and turn it on. Come on, please work, please work. It's not turning on. Oh, shoot. Yo, that scared me for a little bit. I thought it wasn't going to work. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that is loud. The volume button works. Let's see if this works. It sure does. Heck yeah. So go ahead and use that link for $50 off. And this is where we are at currently. So what I was working on was these subwoofers. So you had an extra plug, which is this one. I plugged this in and the sound and the music was muffled and it didn't sound right. Once I unplugged this and plugged straight to this and now my speakers are working perfectly so now it's time to go ahead and throw everything back in and bolt everything in i still got to get these clips right here so it sticks in the holes and stays in there but for now we don't have that it'll be held by this being pushed upon it and let's put everything back together and see what it looks like we are all done everything is back in and it is looking really really good this is what we're looking like. It's kind of poking out right here because the clips aren't there to hold it in. So that's basically what it's going to look like. Moment of truth. It's resetting the whole thing because I unplugged the battery. So it's basically doing a fresh start. And it's working. Woo! Oh, and I like how it's already red. So we're going to leave it just like that to match everything that's going on in this car. Oh. This is the main menu, navigation, so this is the GPS. Oh, it did read it. All right, so the GPS works. 
air conditioning you, you can control your air conditioning from here alone instead of all these buttons here is my cord and the way i got this wired in is i got the two cords all right let's plug it in we got that figured out and let's see if apple carplay works all right so in order to use apple carplay you just press this button right here except oh that's pretty sick come on let's work hey apple carplay let's go and it's wireless so you can either do it through the wire or with bluetooth and you can have apple carplay which is fire all right cool that's literally all i wanted apple carplay and a nice little stereo system this is perfect so shout out to dynavin this is the dynavin 8 i know they just had the dynavin 7 but i think the difference between this one and the old one is one comes with the wireless apple carplay and it's upgraded with the internals a little bit so it's running a little bit better a little bit faster so we are done what do you guys think we are done though so i'll give you guys like a quick little outside perspective of what it looks like on the inside so you come on in got the wire for your phone and that is the system and like i said i put the microphone up there so it's out of the way so like i said before um this one's for an 11 and 14 and it fits perfectly they make one for an 05 to 09 three valve mustang and it looks just as good so if you guys have a three valve which i'm sure most of you guys who are watching me have a three valve they make one for the three valve and it looks super clean super mint and uh go cop yourself one it is definitely worth it but that's going to wrap up this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did make sure to smash the like button if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel make sure to hit the button down below and we'll see you guys in the next video peace